So we are in the book of Revelations. For those of you who have your physical Bible, if you don't, it's okay. Follow along. But we are in the book of Revelations. And tonight we are in chapter two, uh, 3. For the last two studies that we did on the churches, we were in Revelations 2. Well, tonight we are in Revelations chapter 3. And we are starting from verse 1. Okay. Um, so... If you have your physical Bible, go ahead and find all the way to the back of the book, Revelations, the book of Revelations, all the way in the back of the Bible, and we are starting in chapter 3, verse 1. Now, there are some, there are some, um, there are some very, important factors that we should note with Jesus speaking to the churches because what I what I say to us is that Jesus speaking to the churches here is referring to us today so don't just think that okay this was Jesus speaking to those churches back then this was Jesus speaking to those churches back then that is relevant today it means that the same thing he was telling them, he's telling us today. Amen. So all of us who are saved right now, right, he's speaking to us. He's speaking to all of us who are saved. So if you're saved, if you're a Christian, if you have been saved, this particular scripture is speaking to all of us who are saved. Amen. And that's what Jesus was doing. He was laying the groundwork, speaking to those churches. And that foundation is the same today. It speaks to us as Christians today. So in today's lifetime, we, we have people who are doing the same things that were doing those things back then when Jesus was warning them and was saying to many of those churches, repent, turn from your wicked ways. So just the same way, that he was speaking to those churches and speaking to those members. He's speaking to us today. So these scriptures are for us. It's for our guides. Showing what Jesus thinks or know. Not thinks, but what Jesus know about us. And what he's doing. What he is actually seeing. Because like I was saying, he, Jesus is watching our works. He's, what, he's watching our lifestyle. Are we living for him? What are we doing for him? What are we doing in terms of sin? Right? Are we are we putting away sin? Or are we living with sin? Alright? He's watching all of that. And that's why he was saying to most of these churches, Repent. Or I will come and root you up. So those same teachings and those same warning is relevant for us today as Christians. He's saying the same thing to us. If we are in these situations like some of these members he's saying the same thing to us today Re repent turn away from your wicked ways and if you don't i will come and root you up okay so guys when you read it don't just think okay no he was just talking to that church no he's talking to us today okay he's talking to the body of christ the church He's talking to the church. The church is made up of every person, every last person who is saved, every person who is saved, who have asked Jesus to forgive their sins and to come into their life. Every last one of us make up the church. Amen. Right? We make up the church of Jesus Christ. We make up the body. We make up this whole body of the church. And so Jesus is warning us to live right as members of this church and that's why i always say it's not about a catholic church pentecostal church amen a seven day adventist church amen it's not it's not which one of those church is is right and which one is going to heaven it's not about which one of those denominations it's about you individually and me individually. Yes. It's about our life with Jesus. Yes. Am I living for Jesus? Amen. Are you living for Jesus? Yes. And if you are, if I am, then we all make up one church. That's right. So Jesus says, 
upon this rock, I will build my church, one church. Yes. Now we have a bunch of different denominations, right? But Jesus' church is everyone who is saved and living for him. So everyone, so you, you, you can take some people from this, you can take some people from that, take some people from that. As long as we are all saved and living for Jesus, we all make up that one church. Amen. Which is Jesus' church. Yes. And so that's why Jesus was warning now all the different church in these different cities to make sure that they're living right yes. and living for him. Amen. Okay? So he is warning them and that warning is for us today. That's why we read this now. Because you'll notice tonight there's one of those churches that he did not say to them, repent. Most of the other ones he was saying, repent. Yes. Because you guys are doing something wrong. But there was one that he did not really say repent to because they were doing something right so that's why it's talking to us today if we are doing something right if we're living for jesus right he will not say to us repent that's or right. i will come and remove you mm -hmm. if we're living right and we're serving jesus and we're staying away from sin yes. he's not going to say to us repent because we're living for him and that's we're doing right. it right that's right and that's why he spoke to one of these churches and he told them he did not tell them to repent because the, he said they were living right. Amen. And a matter of fact, he told them that because they were living for him, right? And they were living right. They could escape the mark of the beast. That's right. Amen. So he told them, because you guys are living right, because you guys are serving me right, you will escape the mark of the beast. Amen. So we're going to read that tonight and talk about it, right? Because Jesus is showing us that today, that all the people who are living for him and serving him, we will escape the mark of the beast. Amen. So let's read it and let's go into it right now and see what it says. Amen. So, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 1. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis. So now we're talking about the church of Sardis. So tonight, first church that we're talking about is Sardis. And unto the angel of the church in Sardis write, These things said he that had the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know thy works. And remember, each time we always hear Jesus, Jesus says, I know your work. I know what you're doing. Yes. I know thy works, that thou hast a name, that thou livest and art dead. Amen. So Jesus was saying to this church, now, you guys are calling yourself, saying that you're saved and you're living, but you're dead. Imagine, you, you, you believe that you're living for Jesus. Mm. And Jesus said to you, you think you're living, but you're dead. <laughs> My Lord. Can you imagine? My Lord. That means these people are living and they're not living, they're not living right. They're living in sin. Because it's only when you're in sin, you're dead. So be careful. He says, you have a name. Hmm. You're calling yourself living, but you're dead. My God. He says, be watchful in verse 2. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. So even some things that you're doing now is getting ready to die. He says, strengthen it. Is your faith, is your faith about to die? Strengthen your faith. Amen. Is your love about to die? Strengthen your love. Amen. Right? So that's what he's saying. Work on those things that seem like they're about to die. Mm -hmm. Strengthen them. Yes. If oh, you feel like you, you feel, word, if you feel like your love is fading, he's saying strengthen it. Yes. If you feel like doubt is stepping into your life oh now God. and you start to lose faith, he says, strengthen your faith. Yes. Strengthen it. If doubt is stepping in, start believing again. Start believing. Start believing in Jesus. Strengthen that. Yes. Okay? If you have problem forgiving people, start forgiving people. Yes. Strengthen that. Yes. So that's what he's saying. He's speaking, he's speaking to the church. He's speaking to us. He's speaking to people who call themselves Christians. Mm -hmm. He says, strengthen the things that are getting ready to die. Amen. 
if you always um saying to someone i'm not going to forgive you or if someone if someone hurts you and you can't forgive them you have to work on that yes because we can't go to heaven if we can't forgive others say it again we can't go to heaven if we can't forgive others we have to Thanks love God. others and we have to forgive others amen that's why the that's why the, the prayer that jesus um taught his disciples says and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive, forgive those, those who trespass, trespass against, against us. us. So Amen. forgive me, Lord, Hallelujah. as I forgive people who hurt me. Amen. That's what the prayer is saying. So if we are telling God to forgive us, God is saying we have to forgive others. So if we are having problem in that area, strengthen that area. Thank you, Lord. So that's what Jesus was saying. The areas that are getting ready to die, strengthen them, guys. Amen. Strengthen them. Okay. For I, this is what it says now. For I have not found thy works perfect you, before Lord. God. God bless you, says. He says, strengthen those things because, listen, I have not found your works to be perfect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jesus says, I have not found your works to be perfect. That's what he was telling this church, these people in this church. Yes. Right? Work on the things that are getting ready to die in your life mm. because I Jesus. see that your works are not perfect. Mm. And our works should be perfect in front of in, in front of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So he says, Work on those things that are getting ready to die, for I have not found your works to be perfect. Amen. Now he says in verse 3, Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard. Remember how you have received the word. Amen. You got to go back to those days. Go back to how you have heard the word. And hold fast. Hold fast to it. So remember how you heard about Jesus. Remember how you received Jesus. Amen. And hold on to that. Amen. Hold fast to that. Hold on to that. Don't give it up, guys. Amen. Because the devil is going around trying to get us to stop believing in Jesus. That's right. The devil wants nothing less than us to just give up. Mm -hmm. He wants us to give up. He wants to tell us that what we're believing is fake and what mm -hmm. we're believing is not good and Amen. what we're believing is, 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 is you know, it's not good and, and, and fake and Jesus is not real. And the devil will come with all different things. All kind of stuff. Try to discourage you. All kind but of. But you have to hold fast. Jesus says to the church of Sardis, hold fast to what you believe. Yes. Hold fast what you know. to what you heard, what, what you, you know. know. Hold fast. Hold Glory. on to it. Thank you, Lord. Hold on to what you know. Hallelujah. You have to hold on to it. Amen. And listen now. So he says to hold fast and repent. Amen. Again, he says repent to this church. So he says hold fast and repent. Amen. So what you're not doing, what you're doing that's not right, turn from it. That's what repent means. Repentance. Yes. Turn away from what you're doing that's not right. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Okay? Amen. Guys, we don't want to be here... Um, at Bible studies and then at the end of the day we don't make it into heaven my God you don't want to be coming each night to Bible studies and you're hearing the word of God and then you're not doing it amen you want to make sure that you're hearing the word amen and that you're doing it you're actually yes. doing it so we Put can all action. make it into heaven we have to amen. make it into heaven amen don't don't find yourself locked out of heaven after after attending all Jesus. these Bible studies. My God. After coming to all these Bible studies. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And then we still don't make it into heaven. No. My God. Make sure you make it into heaven. Amen. It's a reason why Jesus have us doing these Bible studies. Teach us, teach us, teach us. It's a Andrew. reason teach why us, we're here. Teach Amen. Us. Amen. So you have to make sure you make good use of these. Amen. We're not gonna always have these going on. My God. Right? Amen. We, it's not gonna be here forever. Amen. So as long as we're here and we're doing Bible studies and we're teaching the word, make sure you're holding on to it and you are yes. living it. Praise God. Jesus says, don't just be hearers of the word, but be hearers and do doers. You have to Amen. hear the word and do it. That's right. Be obedient. So guess what? Glory when it's God. time to go to heaven, you can say, well, I was in Bible studies. Well, Amen. I went to the Bible studies a few nights or I went to the Bible studies a lot of nights. No. What were you doing with the word that you were hearing in the Bible studies? Mm -hmm. Were you living Jesus. by those words? My God. Were you living by the word? Did you make the word a part of your life to guide you? 
that's the question that we have to answer what did you do with the teachings of the bible studies mm. all right so jesus says repent yes and then it says if therefore thou shalt not watch so if you don't do it i will come on thee as a thief <laughs> Jesus is speaking now. He says, if you don't repent, if you don't watch, I will come on you as a thief. And thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Amen. I will come as a thief. Amen. Right? What is he talking about? The rapture. Yes. He will come as a thief and take away those who are ready. And those who are not ready will be left behind. Amen. So he says, I will come and you won't know what hour. I will come upon thee. Verse 4. Thou hast a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. So he says, there are some people around you that are living the life. He says, there are a few people over there in Sardis that are living the life, that are, that is, that are serving me. And he says, they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Amen. Now, you know where we have heard that before about white? If you were here some nights ago, we talked about the saints being in white, right? It's all the way um, in the end of Revelations. The saints, we are going to be dressed up in white. We're going to be in white. Coming back with Jesus. And here is Jesus talking about it right here. He says, They shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. And the place that we saw this in the Bible, with the saints walking with Jesus, is when Jesus says he was coming back on the horse, and he was coming with his armies from heaven that was dressed in white linen. Amen. I don't know if you guys remember that Bible study, but it's in, um, I believe it's in Revelations 19. So he's saying now to these church, to the, the, um, the church in Sardis, there are some members among you that are living the life, and they will come and walk with me in white. He Amen. says, Now he that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my Father Amen. and before his angels. Amen. He that at and hear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. So Amen. if we continue to live for Jesus, Amen. he says that we will walk with him. Yes. We will be dressed in white. Oh, yes. Amen. And he will not take our names out of the book of life. Amen. And he will confess our name to his father. Yes. Hallelujah. And to his angels. Amen. That's what we are working for. Amen. 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 That's the church of Sardis. So they were also told to repent. But Jesus says, there were a few among you that are living right mm -hmm. that are doing good. Now, this is the church I was talking about now that we're about to talk about, Philadelphia. This church, Jesus had some very good things to say about this church. Amen. Amen. So, let's go and talk about the church of Philadelphia. Or Philadelphia. So, if you're still following, we're starting at verse 7 now. Um, Revelation chapter 3, verse 7. And to the angel of the church in Philadelphia, write, These things saith he that is holy, he that is true, he that hath the key of David, he that openeth, and no man shutteth, and shutteth, and no man openeth. So Jesus said this about himself. He says, write, and this is coming from he that is holy. Jesus speaking about himself now. He that is holy. He that is true. He that had the key of David. He that opened it and no man shut it. And shut it and no man opened it. Open it. Amen. That's what Jesus 
said about himself, Amen. describing himself when he was writing to the church of Philadelphia. Amen. And this is what he writes, look in verse 8. I know thy works. Same thing like he said to the other churches. I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Yes. And no man can shut it. Amen. For thou hast a little strength and hast kept my word and hast not denied my name. Praise God. So this church, these people were keeping the word of Jesus Christ and they were not denying his name. He says, no, behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet yes. and to know that I have loved thee. Amen. I will let your enemies come and your enemies will serve you. My God. That's what he was saying. When we live for him, even your enemies will come and serve you Amen. because we are living for Jesus Christ. So when we live for him, he will have our enemies to come and to serve us. Amen. And our enemies will know that Jesus loves us. Amen. Can you imagine? Our enemies will know that he loves us because our enemies will see Jesus in us. Our, our enemies should see Jesus in us. Amen. Because of the way we and we treat our enemies, we love them. Yes. You know, we still, um, even though they despise and try to use us and all those different things, we still love them and pray for them, and we still talk to them about Jesus. They That's will right. see Jesus in us. They'll see a difference, yeah. because they will look at our lives and look at their lives and see that there is a difference between our lives and their lives. So our enemies will come and serve us, seeing Jesus Christ in our lives. Jesus will let them serve us. Amen. Amen. Now, but look, listen to this now. In verse 10. And I want you to look at it very um, carefully. Verse 10 is talking about the mark of the beast. It says this. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of of temptation which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth listen to this now Jesus was speaking to John thousands of years ago and this is why I was saying to you earlier that this is speaking to us today this is relevant for us today because he was speaking to John, telling John to go and speak to these different churches, right? And then here's what he tells this church. All the other ones he was saying, I know your works. You guys are not doing what you're supposed to do. Repent or I'll come and I will move you, right? And then he says now to church, the church of Philadelphia, he says, you have not denied my name and you have kept my word. Amen. And now he says, and because you have kept my patience, because you have continued to serve me, yes. because you never gave up, yes. you live for me, Amen. you serve me, I will keep you from the hour of temptation that will come upon the whole world, mm -hmm. the whole world, right, to try the whole world, to try all them that dwell upon the earth. Yes. Let's read it again. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. Mm -hmm. Amen. That was the mark of the beast. That hour of temptation, mm -hmm. that's the beast. Yes. That hour of temptation is the period of the mark of the beast. That's the hour of temptation that will come upon all the world to try all those who are on the earth and see if they will receive the mark of the beast. Okay? So Jesus says, there's going to be a time, right? Which is going to be the hour of temptation upon the earth that will come upon all the world 
to test all those who live on the earth, right? But then he says to this particular church, I will keep you from it. Amen. No, what does keep you from it means? You're not going to go through it. Amen. You will not face it. He was saying you will not face this hour of temptation that will come upon the world. He says, because you have kept my patience, because yes. you have lived for me, you have lived right. Yes. I will keep you from it. Praise God. So he did not say, I'll give you strength to go through it. I will be there with you. I will go through it with you. No, he says, I will keep you from it. You won't face it. Amen. You won't go through the hour of temptation. Amen. You won't go through the mark of the beast. Amen. You won't go through the tribulation. Amen. If you're saved and if you're living right, you won't go through the tribulation. You won't Amen. go through the mark of the beast. I will keep you from it. Amen. That's what he's saying. I will keep you from it. So now this now, this church is the example of Jesus speaking to all of us as Christians and saying, this is what you're supposed to be doing. This is the life you're supposed to be living. Mm -hmm. As Christians, all of us. This is the life you are supposed to be living. Now, if you are living this life, I will keep you from the temptation that's coming upon the earth. I will Amen. keep you from the mark of the beast. Hallelujah, I will keep Jesus. you from going through that tribulation. You, Lord. It's for all Christians. Today. Now, today. Amen. Because what happened to these people that he was talking to back then, thousands of years? They died and gone. Mm -hmm. So obviously he was not talking to them individually saying, okay, you, 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 I will keep you. No, he was saying mm -hmm. yes. the type like you, mm -hmm. the people like you, yes. the Christians like you, like you. Amen. those who are serving me like you, Amen. right? Yes. I will keep you from the temptation that's going to yes. come upon the earth. So Amen. when that time comes, all the Christians who are like you now, mm -hmm. all those who are serving me like you, will be kept from the mark of the beast Praise will be kept from the temptation Praise will be kept from the tribulation which yes. means we are going to be raptured away from it we will be raptured away from this time Amen. and after this after jesus finished speaking to the church here the bible stopped talking about the church after it after he finished speaking to john about the seven churches Revelation stopped talking about the church after that. Amen. And then now it goes into the, the tribulation and it goes into everything else that happens after that. Yes. So this is the warning now for the church. This is a warning for the church that we should make sure that we are living right and be ready to be raptured and to be gone. And just like how the Bible is silent about the Amen. church in Revelation now, we the church who are saved and living like the church of philadelphia will be gone Praise and god. this earth is going to go through a very rough and tough and terrible time hmm. Hmm. my god you don't want to be here my lord this world is going to go through a very rough tough Amen. and terrible time Amen. you don't want to be here jesus okay. says if you are living right i will keep you from it Amen. i will take you from it Amen. If you are living for me, I will remove you and take you from it. So be ready to go with Jesus so you can be removed from this hour of temptation that's coming up on the earth. Other parts of Revelation calls it the wrath of God. Amen. It's the wrath of God upon the earth. Yes. The hour of temptation. Now this same hour of temptation here in Revelation, Jesus spoke about it in St. Matthew 24 same hour of temptation amen. the same hour it's the same tribulation amen. you can connect the two yes. so in saint matthew 24 when he talks about the tribulation same hour of temptation so we will be removed all those who are serving god and we're serving god in spirit and in truth yes praise god all those who are like the church of philadelphia today Yes, will be removed Amen. from the hour of temptation. Thank will be Lord. removed from the tribulation, from the mark of the beast. Thank we you. won't be here to go through it. Thank you, Lord. So listen, that's verse 10. It says that we shall be removed from the hour of temptation. 
that will come upon the earth to try the whole earth. And then he says this now in verse 11. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Amen. Don't let anyone take away your crown. Amen. Don't let anyone let you lose your salvation. Amen. Don't let anyone let you lose your relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Hold on to your relationship with Jesus. Praise Don't let anyone take it away from you. Don't let anything take it away from you. Because he says, you don't want to lose your crown. Verse 11, Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast. Hold what you have, what you have. Amen. Your relationship with Jesus. Yes. Hold on to that. Don't give it up. Don't turn back. Don't go back in the world. Amen. Hold on to your relationship with Jesus. Amen. Right? That no man take your crown. Don't let no one take your crown. You are Not working once. for a crown. You are working to go to heaven to get your crown. Amen. We are working to go to heaven to get our crown. Amen. Are we going to get our crown? Are we going to heaven and get our crown? Yes. 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 We are working to go to heaven and get our crown. Amen. To live with Jesus forever. Yes. So we are working to go to heaven to get our crown. Yes. All this what we're doing right now and Bible studies and sharing videos and sharing the gospel is to get our crown. Amen. Is to get our reward. Don't Amen. let no one take it away from you. Don't let anything take it away from you. You want to make sure you make it into heaven. Get your That's crown. That's right. Amen. Get your crown. Amen. It That's says, you were going to say something. Go ahead. I'm just... Everybody should have been saying amen right there. <laughs> amen. Amen. These lives should have just lit up. Yes. Amen. <laughs> amen. Yes. Someone said, now is not the time to backslide, amen. people. Yeah, that's right. Now is not the time that's to the backslide. Andrew. Amen. That's right, DeAndre. Now is not the time to that's look right. back. Now is the amen. time to move forward. Not to go back. Glory go forward. To God. Amen. Go forward. Don't let no one take your crown. No one. All this work that you're putting in and then you give it up? No. no. You're putting in the work now? Live for Jesus and Amen. go and get your crown. Get your reward. Don't do all the work and then you turn around and walk away from it. Amen. Who's, who does that? Who work? Who goes to work and work all week? And at the end of the week, you walk away and say, Okay, I don't want no pay. So, okay, I don't want no paycheck. <laughs> huh? Why? <laughs> Why? Why would you work all week? And then at the end of the week, you walk away Give me my and rewards. say, I don't want no paycheck. Give me me. Who does that? No one does that. Give me me. Give me my paycheck. <laughs> I want my rewards. Amen. I'm working for my rewards. Praise I want God. my crown. Hallelujah. Type it. I want my crown. Yes. I want my crown. I want my crown so that I can wear it. Get, yes, <laughs> type it up. I want my crown. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want my crown. Give Jesus my says, rewards. don't let Amen. no one take it away from you. Amen. That's right. Don't let no one take your crown no away from you. No one. Right? He knew that Give people... Give me he, my crown. He, know, I he knows. My crown. I need my crown. I want my crown. Hallelujah. That's right. He knows that people Thank will try Lord. to take your crown. Yes. Don't people, let nobody take your will, crown. People will try to get you frustrated. My God. People will try to lie to you. My Lord. People will tell you all different confusion. Yes. All different stuff Thank to confuse you, you. And try to get you to lose your crown. But no. Hallelujah. No. Thank you, Jesus. That's why Thank Paul. You, that's Lord. why Paul says... There is laid up for me a crown yes. of life. He yes. knows it. He says, yes. I have fought a good fight. Yes, I've I finished my, my course yes, and kept, kept the, the faith. faith. And now it's laid up for me. The it's crown. waiting. It's Jesus. waiting for me now. Yes. It's, he said, I, listen, I done put in the work. Yes. I did my, 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 my work here yes. and I kept the faith. I didn't yes. give up on Jesus. And he said, now you, I know my Thank crown you, is waiting now. Amen. And I'm going to get it. Amen. That's what he says. I'm Amen. going to get it now. He knows it's waiting for him. Yes. And he's about to go and get his crown. And Jesus is here telling us. He says, don't let no one Nobody. take your crown. Nobody. Don't let no one take your crown. Glory, That's glory, verse 11. Glory, glory. He says, behold, I come quickly. Hold. Hold on to what you have. 
Hold that fast which thou hast. Amen. Hold on to your salvation. Yes. Hold on to your relationship with Glory. Jesus. That no yes. man take thy crown. crown. Amen. Hold on to it so no man can take your crown. Amen. We are going with Jesus. Him that overcometh, verse 12, verse 12. Him that overcometh, it just means that him that hold on to the end. All those who don't yes. give up. Hold on. All those who serve Jesus until Keep the end. On. Don't give up. That's what it says. Keep him that overcometh. Hallelujah. God bless you, Jay. God bless you, Jay. For the giving. Hallelujah. It says Glory now, verse 12. Him that overcometh. Him yes. that don't give up. Him Amen. that continues. Thank him you, Lord. that continue to serve Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Right? Yes. Will I make pillar in the temple of my God? My God. He will make us pillar yes. in the temple of God the Father. And he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of my God. He's going to write his Father's name upon Thank us. You, and the name of the city of my God. Thank you know you what Lord. the city is? The New Jerusalem. Thank we, you, we talked about it before. The New Jerusalem. The New Jerusalem is coming down. That Jesus went yes. to prepare for us. Yes. Right? He's going to write the name of the city on us, the name of his father on us. Yes. Thank okay. You, Lord. And he tells us here, which is the new Jerusalem. The name of the city is the new Jerusalem, Amen. which cometh down out of heaven from my God. Praise God. And I will write upon him my new name. Praise God. Thank the Bible you, says Jesus comes and he has a name. I don't know if you guys read it before in the end of Revelation. He has a name that no man knew. No man knew the name. Well, he's saying that he's going to write upon us the new name. His new name. My God. He's going to write upon us his new name. Amen. Guys, we are in for a wonderful time with Jesus, wonderful you know. Wonderful treat. Amen. We are in for a wonderful Amen. time with Jesus. Amen. Listen, everlasting life mm. will be sweet. Amen. <laughs> he that art and ear. Glory to God. He Amen. that listens. Who, yes. All those who hear. Verse yes. 13. Verse 13. If you hear this. Yes. He says. He that at and hear. Let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. Praise God. The Spirit of God speaking Amen. to us. If you hear it. Thank Jesus you, says. Jesus. Hear, I hear and you, do Lord. it. I hear you Lord. I hear you Lord. Yes. Oh, your servant, hear you tonight, God. Hear, Hallelujah, hear Jesus. what is being said to us. Thank you, Lord. Thank hear you, what Jesus. is being said to us. Oh, God. He that has an ear to Thank hear, you, let him hear. Thank you, Jesus. If you have an ear to hear, Thank hear. You, Jesus. Listen to what is being said. Jesus is saying, Thank Don't you, let no man steal your crown. Thank you. Don't Lord. let no man take your crown. Thank you, Jesus. He's coming. He's going to make us pillars. You, you know what it is? This part that talks about pillars, we. I don't know if you guys were here, but in we talked about when he comes back in the 1,000 years. You remember that Bible studies? In the 1,000 years that's going to be on the earth and he's going to set up um, thrones. Amen. That's what it, it refers to. He's going to set us up to rule. We're going to be ruling. All the children of God are going to be ruling over the Amen. earth. Yes. Because the wicked, all those who took the mark of the beast, yes. will be still all those who did not die will be still alive you, on the Jesus. earth Amen. while the 1,000 years is going on. Yes. And we are ruling over the earth God. during Amen. that time. Amen. He's going to set us up as pillars Thank you, Lord. and give us his father's name Thank you, his, Lord. His and give us his new name. New name. He's going to give us his new name. Mm. Thank you, and Lord. set us up to rule oh, with him. Oh, how he love us so. We are going to have, we are going to be in for a wonderful time. Mm. And listen, the 1,000 years is not the end of it. The 1,000 years is just the time that we're going to rule over those who have been sinned or condemned to, 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 to hell. Because all those people who took the mark of the beast will no longer be able to go to heaven. Amen. But they're going to be here living on the earth while we are ruling Hallelujah, over them. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. When Jesus comes back, Yes. And he destroys the beast and the false prophet. Amen. The people are going to be still here. Amen. The people that took the mark Glory and did not God. die are going to be still on the earth. And we are going to be ruling over them. Amen. Amen. We are going to be ruling over them. And then after 1,000 years, guys, after 1,000 years now, that's when we're going to have the final judgment. Amen. 
and then after the final judgment Amen. there will be no more people on the earth that is not saved Praise God. everyone on the earth at that time now will be all those who have been saved but during that 1000 years when jesus comes and set up his kingdom on the earth Amen. there will be people here who have took the mark of the, the beast and they are no longer able to go and live with jesus Thank but they will jesus. be on the earth Amen. and we are going to be ruling over them yes and Jesus says he's coming back and he's going to give us his father's, um, he's going to give us his name and make Hallelujah. us pillars. Yes. Praise Amen. God. Pillars to rule over these people. I want my crown. I need my crown. Don't let give no one crown. steal your ah. crown. We need our crown. Work for your crown. Don't give it up. Don't give it up. So we're Hallelujah, going to stop there tonight. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you can't have my crown. Don't let no one take your crown. No, sir. No. No way. No, no, Amen. no, no, no. Listen, I'm Amen. going to let you guys go ahead and read the um the last church for yourself. That's verse 14 to 18. Matter of fact, verse 22. You guys can finish it up. Amen. Verse 14 in the same chapter 3. Verse 14 to verse 20. Let's see where it ends. So verse 14 to verse 22. All right. So when we come back to the next Bible study, I may just review that last church, but then you guys can read it on your own. Just read up on that last church, right? That's verse 14 to verse 22, chapter 3. Read about the last church. You ain't taken yes. my crown. Thank you, Infernos. Amen. Revelation 3, verses 14 to verse 22. Amen. You guys read up on that last church. Praise and God. see what it says that's Amen. the final church that he, was, he spoke to Amen. but the one that i wanted you to, to hear tonight Hallelujah. is the church of philadelphia yes because that's the, the example the that's the example Amen. that we should follow that that's church. the one that we should follow that's right where he's pleased with our work yes. he's pleased with our life yes. and he's going to take us from the mark of the beast and we are going to escape the mark of the beast. Amen. And we are going to be given Jesus' new name. We are going yes. to be set up as pillars. Amen. We are going to be ruling over this earth. So Amen. listen guys. That's the one you want to emulate. You want to definitely. Crown. Definitely. Let your life. Let your life be an example of the I church of Philadelphia. Amen. So that's the end of the Bible study tonight. Let no man steal your crown let no man take your crown jesus says let no man take your crown he does not want us to lose our crown and he said he's coming back soon guys he is coming back soon amen listen god bless you god bless you god bless you that's the end of this study Amen. Amen. All right. So remember to read verse oh, 14. Lord, thank you, Lord. To verse 22 you, on your own. Amen. 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 Now, tonight, we want to know if there's anyone who wants to be saved, if you're not saved, and you want to pray to receive Jesus tonight to be saved. Amen. If you are not saved, please type yes if you want to be saved now. If you are not saved and you want to be saved, type yes if you're ready to be saved right now go ahead go ahead and type yes if you have never prayed guys if you have never prayed the prayer with us to receive jesus amen and you're not saved amen i see some yeses amen if you have never prayed that prayer to receive jesus with us and you want to receive him tonight right guys if you have prayed it and you have received jesus you are saved just make sure you live for jesus but if you want to be saved tonight and you have never prayed that prayer, amen, and you want to be saved tonight, type yes, type yes. Amen, 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 and amen. I believe I'm saved, someone says. Okay. If Well, if you pray the prayer, if you pray the prayer to receive Jesus, and if you pray that prayer to receive Jesus, and you've been living for him, you are saved. Amen. So remember, remember guys, it's not about feeling. It's not about feeling. It's about it's about knowing, Jesus. knowing that you believe. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and I saw um, Infernos just type it up, Romans chapter ten and verse nine and ten. Thank you, Lord. If you believe that Jesus Christ came to earth, died for our sins, Hallelujah. and rose from the dead, and then you prayed and asked Him to forgive your sins, that's how you know you are saved. Mm -hmm. So I see someone said, um, "I think I'm saved." Mm -hmm. So it's not about the feelings right it's if you know if you believe it right 
if you believe Jesus came to earth, died for your sins, rose from the dead, very important that he rose from the dead, and then you ask him now, you prayed and asked him to forgive your sins, then you are saved. Amen? All right. So all of you who type yes and you want to receive him and you want to be saved right now, it's the Bible says that I just said it in Romans chapter 10 and verse 9 and 10. Believe on the Lord Jesus. Believe that he came and died for your sins and rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. And, if he, and if you believe that, then he said the next step is to Amen. confess now. So you're going to ask him to come into your heart and forgive your sins. Thank you, Lord. And that's how you are saved. So all of you who type, yes, you want to be saved. And if you believe what I just said, that the scripture says, then the next step now is to pray. So we're going to pray and I want you to pray this prayer to receive Jesus Christ so you can be saved. Because we want you to be ready to meet Jesus. He says, I'm coming quickly. Be ready. He says, watch. Watch. Watch means always stay ready. Stay ready. Right? You're you, just like someone who's playing sport. Thank Even you. if you're on the bench, you're supposed to be ready. Amen. You're supposed to be ready because the coach can call you at any time Amen. to go into the game. So you have to be Praise ready. God. You can't be on the bench and just playing around and just doing whatever. Or if the coach look around and he doesn't see you on the bench and you went to the restroom or you went and did something. No, you have to be on the bench ready to go into the game. Amen. Amen. You say you want to reconnect? Yes, reconnect. definitely. Recommit? Mm -hmm. Yes, if you want to recommit, definitely go ahead and recommit. Amen. Yes. So listen, if you are ready yes. when Jesus comes, then we are ready to go with Thank him. You, Jesus. That's what he's saying. Watch. Thank you. Be ready. Thank Watch you. and be ready. Amen. Because he's coming quickly. Now, Amen. let's pray for all those who want to receive him. Thank Amen. You, so stop typing. Close your eyes. Thank you, pray this prayer out loud where you are. And you, mean it. Pray and believe and mean what you're praying. You, Amen. You, Say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come to you. I come to you. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Your son. Your son. I believe. I believe. He came to earth. He came to earth. Died for my sins. Died for my sins. Rose from the dead. Rose from the dead. On the third day. On the third day. And went back to heaven. And went back to heaven. To be with you. To be with you. Father. Father, I receive Jesus, I receive Jesus right, now, right now in my heart, in my heart as, my Lord, as my Lord and my Savior. And, my Savior. and, I, will serve and him I will serve Him for the rest of, the my, rest life. of my life. Jesus, Jesus, come into my heart. Come into my heart. Forgive my sins. Forgive my sins. Wash me. Wash me. Cleanse me. Cleanse me. I am sorry. I am sorry for my sins. For my sins. I repent. I repent of my sins. For my sins. I turn away. I turn away from my sins. From my sins. I won't do them. I won't do them. No more. No more. I receive you I now. I receive you now in my heart. In my heart as my Lord. As my Lord and my and Savior. My Savior. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For coming. For coming. And dying for and me. Dying for me. I believe. I believe. You are the Son of you God. You are the Son of God. Who died for me. Who died for me. And rose from and the rose dead. Rose from the dead. And went back to and heaven. Went back to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For loving me. For loving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For dying for, for me. For dying for me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. And right now. And right now. I believe. I believe. This moment, this moment in my heart, in my heart, that I, that I am, am saved. saved. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Thank you. And if you Jesus. prayed it and you believe it, Thank you are Lord. saved. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. If you pray that and believe Thank it, you, you are saved, Hallelujah. born again, and Thank ready you, to go to heaven to get your crown. Amen. Amen. Glory you are God. ready. And you are ready to go to heaven to get your crown. Amen. Thank Amen. You. God bless you. Thank you Welcome to God's family. Welcome. Thank you, Jesus. Angels are rejoicing for Thank you. you Jesus. The Bible Hallelujah. says heaven is rejoicing Thank for you. you Jesus. And we are rejoicing Amen. with you and for you. Amen. Blessings. Blessings. Thank yes. You, I see you saying you believe. I believe. I'm saying yes. Thank yes. You, Jesus. Yes. All of you who just Glory prayed it. 
Thank you, Jesus. We want you to start growing in God. So we want you to read yes. the Bible. You must read the Bible, guys. Amen. All of you just prayed. You must read the Bible now to Praise grow. God. You have to grow, right? We cannot have a baby and the baby is born and we never feed the baby. Mm. The baby will die. Yes. You have a baby and the baby from never starvation. never get fed. The My baby God. will die from starvation. That's right. Well, you who just prayed it, you My. are a baby. Mm. Thank you, God. You are a baby. Glory to God. You are now a baby Christian. Yes. You just pray to Thank receive you, Jesus. You are a baby Christian. Yes, Lord. And what you need to eat is the Word of God. Amen. The Bible. You have to get into the Word of God and it. start reading now. Starve. So you Glory don't to want God. to just starve yourself. Jesus. You are a baby Christian. Amen. And if you don't read eat, and eat, eat, eat then eat, you will eat die. The word. Eat the Word. Eat the, the word. Spirit eat man the will word. die. You don't Let want your word. spirit eat to die. Word. Thank you, Lord. So you got to get into the Word of God. Hallelujah, and Jesus. And eat, eat the Word of God. Thank you, Lord. You gotta Thank feed. you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Feed. Thank you, Lord. Feed. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Feed Jesus. on the word of God. You're going to Thank feed on the word Jesus. of God. Thank you, Lord. So that you don't die. Hallelujah, Jesus. So that you don't die. My you got to feed on the word of God Thank now. Thank you, Jesus. So get into the Bible. Thank you, Jesus. Get into the word. Yes, Lord. Start reading the word. Yes, Lord. Start feeding on the word of God. Yes, Lord. So you can live Thank you, Jesus. and grow. You yes, know, Lord. some baby grow faster than some, you know. Thank you, Jesus. Depends on how they're fed. Amen. So guys, listen, the more you read Amen. and the more you're hungry and the more you want to read and the more you want to learn the and the you more you get. want to, to, to pray, God. is Amen. the faster you're going to grow. Yes, You're going to grow faster than those who Amen. don't want to read. My God, Those who don't want to read and don't want to pray, you're going to grow God. faster than them. My God, You want to grow. Read the word. You want to grow. Read the so word. you got to read the word of God. You want to grow. And read pray. the word. Yes. Praise God. Start in the book Hallelujah. of St. John. Thank you, Lord. Start in the book, St. John. Yes. Read there. Amen. Start reading about Jesus, Thank what he did Jesus. on the earth. And pray every day, guys. My God. If you have done with St. John, take your time. Don't rush it. Take your time and read it. And make sure you're understanding what you're reading. Someone said tonight they wanted to start over. Start over. If you read it and you did not get much and you did not understand, maybe you read it too fast. So start over. Take your time and read and pray. Say, Jesus, I want to understand what I'm reading. I want to understand your word. Teach me your word as I read. Hallelujah. So Jesus. take your time. Don't rush it. It's not a storybook to read and rush. It says it's, it's life. Jesus says Thank these you, words Jesus. are spirit and they are life. Amen. It's food for us as Christians. So take your time and read and make sure you're getting what you're reading. Amen. Many of what I know today is what I read even when I was much younger. Yes. So you read it and make sure it stays with you. You're going to read and understand it so it stays Thank with you. you. Jesus. Amen. And help Hallelujah. you to grow. So read Amen. and pray. Read and pray every day. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. So listen now. If you prayed that prayer to receive Jesus, I want Thank you Jesus. to know on the page that you're on, the last video that was posted today, I want Amen. you to put a comment in that video. So I want you now to go to that video and type this comment. I received Jesus at your life. Amen. So all those who prayed that prayer just now, go to the very last video on the account that was posted today and type, I received Jesus at your life and come back and type, I did it or done. And I see some of you already saying done. God bless you. If you already went and type it, say done or I did it. We're going to give you a couple minutes now to go and type, I received Jesus jesus at your life now go there and put that comment in that video and come back and say done or i did it god bless you i see many of you saying done you did it amen god bless god bless we give you guys a amen. couple couple of minutes to go and do that and come back please make sure that if you pray the prayer please please be sure to leave that comment in the last video that was posted on the account amen save you say you have a questions or two questions all right amen. go ahead and um amen. put that comment and come back and say i did it or done i amen. see many of you saying you done are you saying Thank i did it Lord. amen 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 all right um God lover, I don't understand that. 
I don't understand what you type in there. I don't understand that what you type in because every last one of us, as long as we ask God to forgive us, Amen. He forgives us. Amen. And we have to know that He forgives us and believe that He forgives us. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Someone says Zoom. Well, Zoom is on Fridays. Zoom information. Okay, so is, if everyone already went and type the comment, Amen. I received Jesus at your life. If you pray the prayer to receive Jesus tonight, then we want you to go to the very last video on the account that you're on right now, right? It's not the not the YouTube account. You're gonna go to the TikTok account to the to the, the last video that was posted on the TikTok account that you're on. It's the most recent one to the very top of the page, okay? And type, "I received Jesus at your life." Amen. And we're going to pray with you right now. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I prayed to pray for my mother to open her arms. Amen. To the Lord. It worked. Amen. God bless you, Annie. Amen. God love her. Like I said, we are you are baby Christians. If you're a baby Christian, baby Christian, right? need to grow so if you're saying that you keep doing the same thing over and over that means you need to grow amen so if you're not if you're if you're not growing then you're going to keep doing the same thing over and over right are you praying are you reading the bible right you got to do the things that will make you grow so you don't have to keep doing the same sin over and over again are you doing it daily you got to do it daily you got to grow amen. when you grow the bible says Thy word have I hid in my heart. Psalms 119 verse 11. That was one of those scriptures that I told you all to study. Amen. Psalms 119 verse 11. Thy word have I hid in my, my heart that I will not sin against you. So if you are reading the Bible, the Bible can't lie. The Bible doesn't lie. Amen. The Bible says that we should hide God's word in our heart so we don't sin against him. Mm-hmm. We should hide his word in our heart so we don't sin against him. So if you are reading the Amen. Bible every day and praying every day, yes. right? Then you're going to grow so you can stop doing the things that you're doing. You That's have to right. grow and get right. and get get to that stage where you can say, "No, devil, I won't do that no, no more." No more. Amen. You got to grow to that stage. Amen. Amen. Your sister had a baby today, basket. All right. God bless. Amen. 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 That's Amen. Wonderful. That's wonderful. Congratulations. Yes. All right. To her. God, I pray that all is well with her and the baby. Amen. Yes. Psalms 119, verse 11. That was one of those scriptures that we told you to study. Amen. Right? Thy word have I hid in my heart that I will not sin against thee. And who's thee. still reading Psalms 91 daily? And we say, read Psalms 91 daily. Are we still reading Psalms 91 daily? Not just whenever, but daily. We're supposed to be reading that daily. Are we doing Amen. that? Okay, you're doing that, Deandra. All right, good. Amen. We're supposed to be doing it daily. Okay? We got to do the things that will make us grow, guys. We got to move from the stage that we're, we're at. The Bible says at some point, you got to move from the baby stage and grow. We'll, we'll do that study next. We'll, do, we'll get into that also. At some point now, we got to move from the baby stage yes. and start to grow. Amen. The Bible says that. Yes. Right? Amen. Not all the time we're going to stay and get milk. Mm -hmm. Because that's what the baby does. You get don't milk. Just stay on milk no you don't way. want to just be on milk. You got to be some on substance. some good food now. You're going to have some, some tough food now. Yes. You got to be on some, some solid food. Yes. So not just milk. You can't stay at the milk stage. You got to move past the milk stage. Yes. Move past the Get sin, the, the, the continual sinning yes. of the same sin over and over. My You're going to move past that. Yes. You're going to move past that sinning over and over the same sin. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And get into now the growth stage. Growth. Yes. Your faith is I growing. Wanna grow. I want to grow. I want to grow. You're growing in the word. So Amen. when the devil comes with the same temptation, Amen. say, devil, I've been there, done that. I've seen it. I don't want to do it. 
that's not me no more. I am serving my God. Amen. You want to get to that stage where you can tell the devil, take that someplace else. Amen. That's not me. I'm not doing that. Amen. But let's pray for those of who receive Jesus tonight. Amen. Father, we commit all those who prayed tonight and received yes. Jesus in their hearts to yes, you. Yes, Lord. No one can pluck them out of your hand. Thank you, Lord. Father God, we know right now that Lord, even right you. now you are drawing them close to you. Yes, Lord. You are surrounding them now with your presence. Yes, Lord. With your angels. Yes, Lord. You are ministering to them. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name of, in Jesus. The name of Jesus. Lord, I pray that you will keep their names in, in the, the Lamb's name book of life. Of Jesus. I pray, God, that they will receive their crowns. In the name of Jesus. They will make Jesus. it to heaven heaven and get their crowns yes lord they will be ready like the yes, church lord. of philadelphia yes lord lord i pray that we all be, we will be ready to meet jesus yes lord we'll meet jesus and be ready when he comes thank you jesus, jesus we thank you now for tonight we thank we you thank for your you, word oh thank we you, thank lord. you god for your word for yes, your blessings lord, upon thank us thank you god oh god i pray you continue you, to lord. keep us yes lord and keep us from that hour of temptation in the name that's coming upon this earth to try everyone upon the earth. In the name of Protect Jesus. Protect us and keep us. In the name oh of God, Jesus. God, from that tribulation. In the name of Jesus. Let us, Lord God, escape it. Yes, Lord. Let all of us escape the yes. tribulation. Yes, Lord. Help us to live for you and to stay in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I give you thanks, now, God, for them. Yes, Lord. Bless them. Bless their surrounding. Yes, Lord. Bless their families. Yes, Lord. Bless everything that they put their hands to. Yes, Lord. I pray, God, that they will now read the scriptures and pray, seek your face, and grow in Thank Jesus you, Christ. Jesus. Fill them and baptize them with the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Give them power to serve you. Thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We give you thanks we thank you, and Lord. praise. Amen. amen and amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. God bless you all. God bless you. Amen. Amen. And amen. The doctors only gave her two weeks to live. Who is that? My niece. My niece. And with our prayer, she has been here longer. Amen. Amen. All right. Basket asking for prayer for his sister. Amen. Yes, amen. I remember saying that we, we needed to hear some update about your niece. She is in God's hands now. Please pray for me. Uh, okay. Yes. All right. We're going to pray again. I know that we had prayed before and we wanted to hear some update. All right. And just give us the name again. Give us the name of your niece again. Type the name again. Amen. Amen. amen and amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. DeAndre was asking about prayer requests. DeAndre. Tell her, type it up. Type it again. Type it again. Um okay. Kelsey. Kelsey. This person is Kelsey. Her name is okay. Kelsey. Yeah, this person okay. is Kelsey. What's your prayer request, Deandra? Okay. Um let's see. So Kelsey and Basket, what's the name of your your sister? First name. Hallelujah. Okay, we're gonna pray for Kelsey again in the name of Jesus. And ask it, what's the name of your sister? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Father, we pray for Kelsey. Father. The doctors who have given her two weeks to live. Oh my God. But we know with Thank God, you, Jesus. all things are possible. Yes, Lord. In God, we're going to stand in faith. Yes. Yes, Lord. With her haunt. Yes, Lord Jesus. As her haunt is asking for prayer. Yes, Lord Jesus. And standing in the gap and standing in faith. Yes, Lord. We're going to stand in faith with her aunt and Thank we pray Jesus. for Kelsey's healing in a Jesus. miraculous healing in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. and so Kelsey in I the name of Jesus call your name in the spirit realm in the name of Jesus and I say comfort 
yes. and be healed in, Jesus in the name. name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. As Jesus called Lazarus. Yes, Lord. I call your name now. Yes, Lord. Kelsey. Kelsey. Comfort. Comfort. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kelsey. Comfort. Comfort. In the, in the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Kelsey. Kelsey. Come forth. In the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Come forth. In Jesus' name. Right now. In, in Jesus', Jesus name. name. We call you forth now. In Jesus' name. Rise and be healed. In Jesus' name. Rise and be healed. In Jesus' name. Rise and be healed. In Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Lord, we believe by faith now. Yes, Lord. Nothing is too hard for you. Nothing, God. Nothing, nothing is impossible with you. Nothing. In the name of Jesus. In the name so of Jesus. So we call forth healing in the body of Kelsey. In the name of in Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And we say, rise now. Thank you. And be healed in Jesus' name. Amen. I pray for Baskets' sister. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord, I just commit her yes, to your Lord. care now. Thank you, Lord. Pray for her strength, right now, comfort, God. peace. If she's not saved, in the name save her. Of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As Basket has asked for prayer for her. Yes, Lord. We stand in the gap. Yes. And we just believe by faith now, God, in the name that of you will Jesus. do a work in her. Yes, Lord. And whatever it is that yes, she needs Lord. right now, in the name it will be Jesus. done in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. As she call upon your name and believe on you. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' mighty in name. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray for each and every one here tonight Grandma, who is on the live. I pray Thank for Grandma's high blood pressure. I command Sweet that pressure, Thank you, that Jesus. pressure to in be the normal. In the name of Jesus. I command that pressure now to be normal. Yes, Lord. In the mighty name, in the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. Right now. Right now, God. Pressure, I command you to regulate yourself right now. Right now. In the regulate name of Jesus. yourself. Thank regulate you, Lord. yourself. Thank you, Lord. In Miss Maxine's body. Yes, Lord. Pressure, blood pressure, I yes, speak Lord. to you and I say regulate yourself right now. now. Be normal now. Right in now. the name of Jesus. In Jesus name. In Miss Maxine's body. Right in now. the name of Jesus, in the name of I Jesus. call forth a normal blood pressure yes, Lord. in her body. In the in name, the of, name Jesus. of Jesus. And now I pray for each and every one yes, who is Lord. watching on these lives. Yes, Lord. Anyone who is sick right now. Yes, Lord. I pray for their healing now. In the name of Jesus. I pray for your healing. In the name of I Jesus. I believe with you now. Yes, Lord. That you are healed by the power Hallelujah. of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. That you are healed right by now, the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. You are healed by the power yes. of the Holy Hallelujah. Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank In you, the Lord. name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And if you're not saved, that you Hallelujah. will serve Jesus now. Yes, Lord. You'll worship him and live for him. Yes, Lord. I pray for your strength. Yes, Lord. I pray for blessings upon yes, your life. Yes, Lord. I pray for your family members. Yes, Lord. I pray for your surrounding. Yes. I bless you in yes. your going out and in your coming in. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty Jesus. name of Jesus. Be blessed in Jesus' you, name. Lord. Be uplifted. Yes, Lord. If you're feeling down and depressed, be uplifted. In the name of in Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the peace of God Rest upon your life. Right now. Be with you. Right now. In you. Around you. Right now, Lord. In Jesus' name. Jesus' name. And Lord, we give you thanks. We thank you, Lord. And praise. I commit them all in your care now, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know their hearts. Thank you, Lord. You know everything about them. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, draw them close to you now. Yes, Lord. Let them live for you. Thank in the mighty name of Jesus, I give you praise. Amen. Hallelujah. And amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. God bless you all. Amen. Thank Be blessed. Jesus. Be blessed. Be Thank you, Lord. blessed. Amen. Everyone, Amen. be blessed. Amen. Believe by faith as we pray. You believe it by faith. Amen. You take all of it and hold on to it by faith. Amen. That God will do it in your life or in, in the, the person's life Jesus. that you ask in the prayer for. Thank but you, you believe by faith. Hold on to your faith. Thank you, Lord. And believe it that God will do it. Yes. And that it's done right in now. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. 
Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank amen. You, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I Thank pray you, for Jesus. your dad, ELK. Thank you, Jesus. Whatever it is going on with your dad, Thank I pray you, for your Jesus. dad now. That God in will the meet name of Jesus. and do it for your dad. Right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God Thank bless you, you. God bless you all. Hallelujah. God bless you all. God bless you. Oh, we bless the name of yes. Jesus. His name is a strong tower. Yes. Hallelujah. We give you oh, praise. We glorify we give you, praise. you, Jesus. We yes. magnify you. We magnify Amen. you, Amen. Amen. Thank Amen. you, Jesus. Amen. Oh, bless the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank Whatever you, Lord. Whatever you ask the Lord, if you ask Thank by you, faith, Jesus. by faith Thank believing, you, Jesus says he will Thank do you, it. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. We pray and commit all those that you're asking for prayer for in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. God will do it. Amen. Thank do it for you. Thank you, Amen. Jesus. Layla, God bless you. Thank God will you, do Jesus. it for your grandma right now. In the name of Jesus. Vibing, God will do it for your mom right now. In Jesus' name. If you believe by faith, as we pray it now, believe right now that God will hear and answer this prayer. Thank and will do it for your family members. We'll strengthen them. We'll heal them. We'll protect, bless, we'll save them. Thank In you, the Lord. mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Believe in faith. If two or three gather in my name, touching that which concerns me, you will be in the midst. If we gather and we are believing together by faith, he will hear and answer our prayer. So if you believe as we believe and we pray, you believe he has done it. In Jesus' name. Amen. It's done. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Amen. You Lord, wanted to say something, babe? Thank you, Jesus. No, I'm good. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I'm trying to find something. Thank you, Jesus. God is good all the time, all the time. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now, listen, guys. Um, Six. Let me just end the live before I say what I'm about to say. So let me just, you, I mean, not end the live. Sorry, I'm not going to end the live. Let me end my recording. So let me bless you guys and just end my recording. So the Lord bless you and keep you yes. and make his face to shine upon you. Yes, Lord. The Lord be gracious to you and lift his countenance upon you yes. and give you peace both now and yes. forever. Amen. 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 And amen. 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 So let me just end my recording on 